Hey guys, and welcome to this We Have Nine Minutes video preview of MechWarrior Online. The non-disclosure agreement has finally been lifted, and I'm super excited to give you a preview of this, so let's crack on. Obviously, we're still in a closed beta at the moment, though. I think with the NDA lifted, we're coming towards open beta very, very soon. So get on the forums, get on the website, sign yourself up, and get playing, because it's going to be great. Uh, I've been playing a lot of this recently. I put quite a few hours into it. I guess I've been playing for a couple of months now. Um, so I'm basically just going to show you a little bit of how everything works, tell you what the game's about, and uh, give everything a bit of a rundown. So, what's the game about? Well, at the moment it's an 8 versus 8 deathmatch uh, with the giant mechs, your big old robots, um, with a little bit of base capping in there as well. Now, when you start the game for the very first time, you will be given these four trial mechs. You have a light, a medium, a heavy, and an, and an assault. Obviously, your lights are going to be for scouting. Your medium is going to be for sort of general damage and uh, harassing uh, your heavy. This particular one is the catapult. This is for long-range fire support. Uh, at the moment, he's got PPC cannons on there. PPC cannons don't say PPC cannon. People will get cross with me if I do that. He has PPCs. They can also have LRMs, which are long-range missiles. They're very effective. And then you've got your uh, your big guy over here, your Atlas. He's Assault. He's got a lot of weaponry. He's very big, very slow, and very well armoured. Uh, and then, basically what you're going to do is play a few matches in these. You're going to get stuck right in, play a few matches, find out which one you like. Uh, and over time, you will earn C-Bills, which is this game's version of money. Money, money, money. Uh, and although the trial mechs earn it at a reduced rate, they don't have to pay for rearming or repairing, which is kind of cool. And once you finally earn enough money, you can then buy your very own mech. You go over here, and there are a bunch of mechs to choose from at the moment, although there's going to be way more added than this. I think so far we are going to have 16 in total, and lots of variants of them in between, which is really cool. Now, as well as being able to buy things with C-Bills, which is your in-game currency, what you earn through uh, playing matches, there's also MC, which uh, is your real currency. So as this game is free to play, you also have the option of paying for things as well. So you can buy your mechs, essentially, with real money if you really want to. Or you can buy premium time, which will you know, increase uh, experience and money gained from uh, matches. Which is always fun. Now, I haven't bought any yet because I'm going to hold off until they uh, allow us to buy it in euros or pounds. At the moment, it's only in dollars, and I'm not doing that. Uh, so, once you've bought your mech, you also get the option to customize them. So, if we go into this here, now it looks a little bit complicated, but basically, what you're going to do is uh, every, every uh, part on your mech is limited in some way. Uh, usually by these hard points. So, and uh, weapons are limited by how many hard points you've got on this particular arm. We have particular on this particular arm. We have one energy hard point and one missile hard point. So I can only get one energy weapon, one missile weapon in there, which I've done. It's also limited by the amount of slots you have, which are these jobbies here. Now these things only take up one slot each. It's also limited by your overall tonnage, which takes into account everything: armor, weapons, ammo, everything. Now, as I'm clicking, you can also see various different components. Each of these can be destroyed or damaged or, you know, completely blown off or whatever. Any shots to your head or to your torso are going to kill your mech outright. Uh, you can run around with one leg. It's not great. You move pretty slow, but you can do it. And you can run around without your arms. You might not have any weapons left, but it can be done. So, once you've had a fiddle about and you've maybe faffed about with uh, engines and heat sinks and ammo and you can play around with your armor to quite a... Uh, high degree. Um, and before we do that actually, I also tell you about XP. You also earn experience per thing per match which can be spent on your max. Uh, for any of you that are playing at the moment, you'll see how long I've been playing this guy. Oh boy. Um, you have to buy all the basic experience uh, modules, should we call them? I don't know, pilot skills. Um, for three variants before you can go up to the next tier, and the same again to go on to the final tier. Uh, but that's about it as far as mechs and things are concerned, so I will see you in game. Okay, we've been given River City, which I'm quite pleased about because I really like this map. 
Um, I'll give you a quick rundown of things while we're waiting for the game to start. Right in the middle down the bottom here you can see my mini-map and that's got your grid references where all your teammates are and any enemies you can spot. Oh, the match is about to start. Uh, to the left of that is your speed, which is throttle. Uh, yeah, blah, blah, forget that for now. Uh, to the far left is my uh, armor and component readout. So that shows me how much damage I've taken to which areas. Um, whether I've got no arms or, you know, whatever. Uh, to the very far right is your weapons loadout, which you can toggle as much as you want. Uh, this is your weapon groups, so you can uh, you can have everything firing on button one, half of your things firing on button two, or however you want to customise it. There's six different options you can choose from there. Uh, customise to your heart's content. Now, I'm kind of zipping about here because I'm a, a very light mech. This commando is very light. Uh, so I'm going to do a little bit of scouting over here. And I'm going to use my heat vision here, which is a really nice little feature, which can show you where mechs are before you might be able to see them otherwise. Especially good on the cold maps. Now, as well as that, we also have night vision, which isn't very well implemented at the moment, as you can see. It's just a little bit bright. Let's turn that hell off. Uh, but we should be getting night maps soon. So that'll be good for that. I'm really not paying attention to what's going on here. So what is that? You've got a giant map where you can see everything that's going on. Very good for tactical stuff. Uh, right in the middle, my crosshairs are kind of interesting. I'll show you those quickly in this little area here. The circle is uh, corresponds to your arms. And now that can be pointed pretty much anywhere if you've got uh, weapons on your arms. The crosshair, right in the middle, is based on the weapons that are in your torso or any other fixed weapons. And you basically have to point your torso directly at something to hit them with weapons there. So that can be a little bit more difficult. To the, very, to the right of my minimap is my heat readout. Uh, all weapons produce heat when fired. You've got to be careful not to overheat. If you do, you're going to shut down for a little while. Or if you're overheated for too long, you can explode. I do that a lot. I'm very good at exploding probably my greatest skill. What I'm doing right now is capturing everybody else that's having a middle fight here. I'm in their base, which is marked out by this convenient red square and the funny little thing in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and capture and hope I don't get spotted. Once I target something, you can see to the top right there uh, uh, their readout, which shows me what weapons they've got, how much they've been damaged, and what they are. That's highly useful. Uh, looks like we've got an AFK guy over here. Oh, maybe not. No, he's a fireman. He hasn't seen me, so that's fine. I'm just capping the base here. I'm just capping the base. Don't worry about me. Oh, no. I think he's probably knows I'm here. Let's go say hi anyway, just to kind of show you what the weapons are going to do. I really like the graphics in this game. They're great fun. Oh, he hasn't spotted me at all. Peek-a-boo. Ooh. Behind you, boy. Come on, what you going to do? What you going to do? As you can see, my heat is getting pretty high. Oh, and I'm stuck in this. No! That's not good at all. This is something else I do a lot of. Falling over. Now, light mechs are very good at falling over heavier mechs, so I do that a lot. Um, Commander being the lightest at the moment will fall over to anything. Which is really cool. I love that. I'm kind of going to just uh, annoy this guy a little bit more, I think. Harass, harass, harass. Stops him from firing off his LRMs, which I know I've got because of the readout. Top right, I know he's got some. Oh, got to watch that heat. Now, on the cold map, there's a nice frozen city map. Uh, your heat is not such an issue because you cool down quicker, which is really great. There is also a uh, bit of a caustic valley, which is a bit of a volcano map, and you uh, you really overheat quickly on that one. So you gotta really watch yourself on that one. But uh, this one, River City, and um, there's a, another nice forest map. They're pretty s standard in terms of heat. It's kind of this is your normalized valleys, but you can go stand in the water and you'll cool down a bit quicker. That's always good. But I'm not gonna do that. There's the water down there. Woo -hoo. No, I'm just going to harass this guy a bit more. Because he doesn't really be, seem to be paying too much attention. Maybe I'll just go camp some more. Because, you know, why not? 
But as well as those sorts of things, you can zoom in like so, see what's going on with the heat vision. Constant coordination is the key to winning in this game. Uh, teamwork, definitely. There is no solo play, really. Um, if, everybody's, if everyone is spread out, you're probably going to lose. Ooh, where did that come from? Okay, there's another commando over there. He looks pretty bashed up, though, so let's give him a go. Concentration, or rather, lack of talking. There he goes. Good night. I think y'all dead. I've got a friendly centurion there to help me out with this uh, catapult. He's probably gonna fire on me. Yep. Okay, buddy. You go ahead. Yeah, maybe not actually. I might just pull back. Who's that? Where's that coming from? Oh. Hear my AMS going mental trying to shoot down those rockets. But I don't think we're in any danger here. That's great. I'm so glad we're winning. Man, look at that. Not a very good score for me, but hell, there it is. That's the game. Uh, I'm going to cut it off there. That's been your preview. Don't want to take up too much more of your time. Little taste of what's going on. I'm going to give you a more in depth uh, go of the uh, gameplay very, very shortly, along with another one of our nine minutes uh, writers. So until then, goodbye.